Okay, now we are going to start designing our home page. So if we refer back to our Illustrator file and look at the mid fidelity wireframe, we can see we have the navigation with the logo and the nav, and then we have a little about section and the recent articles and recent projects, and then the footer with the copyright info and a few social uh, links. So what we will do is let's go back and start designing this. So to begin, I'm going to create a guide using uh, the guide guide extension for Photoshop. Uh, if you don't have that, I would definitely go to uh, guideguide.me and check it out. It makes it super easy to uh, create various guides for your um, application design. So what I'm going to do is on either side, let's just do 5% for the left margin, 5% for the right margin. Um, the column count, let's do three columns. Uh, the column width, we'll just leave blank. Uh, the column gutter, let's make, um, say, 2.5%. And then if we hit Make Grid, it calculates all that for us and does it. Beautiful. All right, so the first thing we want to do is our header. So I'm going to start, let's uh, grab the line tool uh, and just create a line across. Let's grab that and move it down a bit. Let's change the color of it, double click, and let's make it like a light grayish color. Um, just dark enough to be able to be seen as a divider in the content, um, but not dark enough to where it takes um, visual priority. So I'm going to use AFB1B5 hex code. All right, that looks pretty good. So the next thing we want to do is pick a font. So um, for this font, I'm going to be using the Railway font. Um, it is a free font that uh, you can get served from Google Fonts. Um, but to use it on your desktop, go to fontsquirrel.com. It's the first one that came up for me. And just go ahead and download that and install that on your system. Once you've done that, hit T and bring up the text tool. And I'm just going to write my name. And let's change this to uh, Railway. And make it Railway Bold. So McKinsey Child, let's change the color. Let's pick a dark um, bluish gray color to use for our application. There we go, something like that looks good. So hex code 424652. And I'm gonna hit Command T to bring up the uh, character panel. Let's make it all caps. And then hit Escape. Let's zoom in a bit. So for the logo, I'm just going to have a simple text of my name, but I want to make it a stand out a bit. So what I'm going to do is make a border around it. So create a shape and go over to the properties panel. Let's uh, make sure there's no fill, but let's use a light gray border. And let's be sure to center that. The text looks a little big. Shrink that down. Looks pretty cool. And let's uh, bring up the guides, make sure the logo starts at the edge and is centered between the top and the bottom. Um, I'm just eyeballing it for now, but I will make sure to clean that up once it gets into the code. Let's uh, select the light gray color. Maybe something like this would be good. And what I'll do is I'll select that rectangle, hit U, and then change the color to what I just recently grabbed. Beautiful. That looks great. Now let's uh, select the um, text tool, or the text, duplicate it, and drag it over. Bring up the guys again. So for here, Let's uh, align this to the right. So for our navigation, we're only going to have three links. We're going to have articles, 
make some space, uh, projects, if I could spell, and a contact page. Um, I'm not sure I want this all caps. Let's make it slightly bigger. There we go. And I'm going to space this out quite a bit more. There we go. And let's make sure the space is the same between there. Beautiful. All right, this is coming along. So the next section we want is a about section. So before we start doing that, let's uh, grab this in our la layers panel and group it and call this header. And then below here, let's create a new layer, call this about. Then let's work inside the about layer or the about folder. So I'm going to um, duplicate this text and let's say about. I'm going to make this a bit bigger and all caps. And let's make it left justified. Now let's bring up the guides again. So we want three sections. So we're going to have about uh, articles and projects. So for the about section, I'm going to uh, paste in some text that I've written a little about me section and let's change the how it's laid out. So let's change the font to railway. Uh, let's do railway regular and then let's change the color to make it um, a bit lighter. And a bit smaller as well. All right, that looks good. So the one thing I want to do is differentiate the text from links. For example, Unicast, I would want to link to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a color for that. T to do that, let's just go to the side and select a few colors. So first off, let's select the uh, dark gray color. And then I'm going to change the color of that. Then let's select a highlight color. So for the highlight color, I'm thinking uh, just a lighter blue color, uh, something similar to this. So I'm going to go with 8BC 6DB hex code. Uh, so it's kind of a light desaturated blue. That looks pretty good. So to differentiate the links in here, let's uh, select this. Let's change the font weight to bold and the color Let's select the highlight. That looks good. And then let's uh, do the same for a few other links. Make it bold. And then the Twitter and Dribbble and GitHub would be linked as well. Twitter, Dribbble. Oops. Make it bold. And finally the GitHub. and hit command enter to escape out of that. That looks pretty good. But I want to add a bit of spacing and probably a divider in between the title and the content. So what I'm thinking, I'm just gonna copy this uh, and create a little, whoops, create a little divider. Make it super thin, maybe five pixels. Um, and it doesn't need to go very far. Just something to visually break up the content. Uh, this font size still seems a little big. Let's shrink it down a bit. And let's bump up the line height. That looks pretty good. Let's see without the guides. Let's bring this over here so it's out of the way. Cool. I'm digging this. So let's uh, add a bit of padding. Let's bring up the guides again and copy this over. And um, let's do that twice. So this section is going to be 
let's say stuff I've written and maybe the section stuff I've built. So this is going to be a bit different. Let's say um, the do list, that's an article I recently wrote. Let's make this a bit bigger to show that it's a link. Um, and then also, let's say Friday, April 10th is when I wrote that. Let's shrink that down a bit. And I'm going to tweak the color, make it a bit lighter. What do you guys think of that? Maybe shrink it down even smaller. That looks better. Now let's uh, copy these and duplicate them. And do it again. Make sure the spacing is good. Uh, these are all articles I've written lately. Uh, if you want to check those out. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's do the same for this. I'm going to copy these. Let's see, stuff I built, um, Unicast, obviously. The Kinsey Child Community, which is uh, no longer around, but I did build it, so um, maybe add that. Kinsey Child Community. Uh, the community turned into Unicasts. And then also I did the 12 and 12 challenge. Cool, cool. All right, then the last thing I want for this section is a link. Um, I'm going to copy this nice bold link. And this is going to go to uh, view all articles. I don't want it to be all caps though, so let's get rid of that. And it doesn't need to be nearly as big, so let's shrink it down. Let me maybe drop it down a bit. Do the same for view all projects. Cool, let's move those out of the way. So this is looking good. The only thing is um, these columns feel a little bit off. Um, I think that's because this uh, text block is so heavy compared to uh, these columns. So what I'm thinking is this should actually be a bit wider um, compared to these two. So when we jump into the code, maybe these would be 20% columns and then this be a 60% column or something like that. So what I'll do, I'll just represent that. Let's just uh, bring this over a bit. Maybe bring it back. There we go. So that looks like it's spaced a bit better. Awesome. So the last thing we need to do is the footer. So let me grab this. All right, so we have a break in the content. All we really want in the footer is um, a link. I mean, the copyright information. So if you hit option G, You'll get the copyright symbol, and then I'll say uh, copyright 2015 Kinsey Child. I'll zoom out and bring that up a bit. Beautiful. And we can actually shrink this text down smaller. It doesn't need to be nearly as big. And then for the social icons, uh, I'm just using the Intypo icon PSD. I'm just going to grab the GitHub. Let's grab the Twitter as well, and maybe the dribble. So those three, oops, didn't mean to move those. Let's just drag those over. All right, so zoom in. Make sure those are lined up like so. Let's bring up the guides. These can be a bit bigger too. So if we hit the, with all three selected, if we hit this uh, little icon up here, it distributes them horizontally. So it makes sure they're spaced evenly. 
um, and then they are uh, pure black right now. So what I'm going to do is if I double click on the GitHub layer, bring up the layer styles, I'm going to click on color overlay and then do that and grab that dark gray color. And then let's hold option and drag the effect onto the other one. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to hit C and bring up the crop tool and I'm going to bring up the canvas a bit. Then the last thing, let's just make sure these are spaced evenly uh, vertically. Same with that. That looks good. All right. So this is super. The idea here is to keep it 100% focused on the content. So this is super clean. I'm digging how this is coming out. Um, in the next video, we will start on the articles page.